all day creating videos. Um, and my final thought, because I'm, I'm fading fast, but... I couldn't begin to explain to any of you. You'd have to be here and be experiencing it firsthand. Um, the bizarre thing she does when she gets like this. It's very, very difficult for me to bite my tongue. Even when I say I'm going to. And you gotta be aware too. I'm trying to protect her. Part of her illness is she loses her filter. She loses her ability to realize that the things she's doing um, are going to be perceived as very, very strange by the outside world, okay? Because I'm not some kind of fucking, you know what I mean? If she's doing certain things and I'm perceiving them as strange, you could bet your bottom dollar that other people, if they were flying the wall, would be feeling, sharing my sentiments, okay? I don't just make this shit up. And I, I struggle to bite my tongue And then, um, um, like, for example, like I told you, she was taking everything in the kitchen sink to that place yesterday. And you, you, you don't do that. And she doesn't normally do that. So I'm trying to protect her as well, people, okay? She doesn't like me to point out anything, but remember, she doesn't live in a bubble. She goes places. Come here, Come here. And she, I found this out after the fact, but when she got sick when I wasn't living here, when I was still living in LA, um, she apparently went to church and started um, acting up in church. Oh, wait a minute, did Auntie tell me my mom was... Oh, no. Well, my aunt was dying, but had still gone to church, you know. My mama was hanging all over her. And then live auntie, you know, said to me, you know, your mother was hanging all over Jasmine, and Jasmine's, like, like sickly thin, you know. She's dying of cancer, and et cetera, et cetera. But no, apparently when I was in L.A., my mom actually acted up in church. Like was was interrupting the service and stuff like that. I guess that's part of uh, the illness of schizophrenia, huh? But anyway. Even if it upsets her, if she's going out and I know she's doing something bizarre, whatever that may be, um, it might be better for me to upset her rather than her allow her to do that which she's go intending to make the outside world aware of. Does that make sense? It's just like we're having a storm right now, you know, and what if I was dealing with somebody who's having a storm right now and they're going to choose to go outside without a coat? 
for whatever reason. Well, some of the bizarre things my mom does are equivalent to that. Equivalent to going outside in a snowstorm without a coat. They're just the, the not potentially life-threatening equivalent, but still potentially Oh, my aunt was um, dying. My mama was calling over there like, really late at night. She called someone. She called someone in my family after like 11, and that family member wound up just changing her phone number. That's the same one that enraged me because. Um, my mom's sick, you know, you're condemning her, and, and, you know, she's sick, and she's all upset, her fuck, your mom, her sister is, you know, she, she, she uh, worships the ground your mother walks on, and she can't accept that she's dying, okay, but she, my mom, all their kids, she would always, you think auntie did that? No, but my mom always, it's not like my, aunt, my mom's made of money or anything, she always did this always sent every single birthday sent their kids a card okay and then as you guys know that breakdown that wound up being one of her worst i'm sorry what some of you know my cousin was pissed off that my sick mother who's all beside herself that her sister's fucking dying um was being bothersome by calling too late at night or whatever. But again, it's her illness. She has no concept of anything. And even if I tell her, she gets enraged. Remember, I was living here at the time. She won't listen. Mom, you can't be calling people after 11 o'clock. Oh, just shut up. Okay. So there's your example of a non-life-threatening crazy thing she does that's equivalent, but it's not life-threatening, of going out in the freezing cold like without a coat in a snowstorm. You get it? So, yes, anything I say to her that she doesn't want to hear, she is going to get upset and not listen, and then I might raise my voice, and then I'm, quote, yelling at her, unquote. You get what I'm saying? I experienced it today. I'm not going to elaborate. Just trust me on this one, right? I'm not making this up. I'm not just mean to my mom for no reason. Um, and there's a perfect example. My cousin actually did return to sender, sent that friggin' birthday card back. And it was just a, a card with a check in it. And what a freaking bitch to do that, you know. And this past Christmas, she's never, ever, ever not sent my mama a Christmas card. I want to know. Just I just want to know if she sent one to auntie. I mean, to not send one to my mother and... You can say, oh, well, your mom doesn't, but my mom, it's not that my mom doesn't send them to her. My mom doesn't send them to anybody. And again, my mom, you know, the one that's my age sent it out. The other one never sends anything anyway. But this one has always, and now suddenly this year, no. And I find it hard to believe that that um, she just didn't do cards this year because she's never not done them. I have a feeling she just didn't bother sending it to my mother or aunt. But again, this is this is your aunt. This is the situation. They didn't have the. This was the first Christmas ever, ever, ever. Now I wasn't going anyway, but that's not the point. First Christmas ever, they didn't have a party that they always have not on Christmas, but around that, like a couple.
couple weeks before or something. They didn't have it. I wouldn't be surprised if it's the beginning of, like, they'll wind up never having it again. In which case, my mom will never see their kids, ever. She'll never, she won't see the kids. But, you know. Actually, they do still have the, unless they stop having the family cookout, too, that takes place at aunties, but, again, oh, well, that's the nature of the times we live in. But, oh, she didn't send the Christmas card. She's the type, they always, she always sends a, every year. This is the first year she didn't do it. Sends the Christmas card. Oh, maybe she, did she do it? Maybe she didn't last year. My mom was locked up, so maybe she didn't do it last year either. But in any case, she always sends a Christmas card with her picture of her kids. You know what I mean? One of those things. It's a way for my mom to always see the kids, you know, on the card. But stupid place didn't cut your nails. I'm remotely as short as the last time I took you. A different person did your nails. So I'm going to complain and I'm going to make sure to see that out of who did the time before. And I'm going to make sure that I don't do it again. I know how, sh if I know how short someone can get his nails, if they're not afraid to cut them, and then they don't do it, especially in the winter, it just means I have to go right back there and have it done again, and that pisses me off. So. But yeah, unless you've experienced it. <coughs> What's wrong? It's not dinner time yet. It's not dinner time, sorry. It's getting close. We went for walkie already this morning, huh? <laughs> Didn't we? Didn't we? Oh, maybe he just hears the wind. Did we go for walkie this morning already? We did, huh? The three of us. Shocked as shit when Grandma wanted to go. Shocked as shit. Like, you really want to go? I just want to make myself sleepy. That didn't work. I slept 8 to 1 30. I've been up all day. Had I not been up, she would have likely woken me up anyway. I can't find this. My phone's not working. I need to call so and so. Can it's doing that ring of silence? Can you please call? Uh, what would you have done if I was sleeping, Mom? Would you've woken me up? I guess we'll never know. <coughs> Tom. But anyway, it's not just when, if she irritates me or something, I, it's, I fear her doing strange things that I know for God, in fact, there's no doubt in my mind, are going to be perceived as strange by the outside world, so I try to stop her from doing it, even if it means, just leave me alone, and, and then I'm like, Mom, please don't do X, Y, and Z, please, and, and, you know, if I have to raise my voice. I am trying to protect her. I also don't want anything to happen. I don't want her to get taken away. You know what I mean? No, you don't know what I mean unless you've been there. If you've been there, you know what I mean. And if you haven't, it's highly unlikely. My Whitney Cummings, I don't know if it was on last night, in which case I missed it, but it should be on again. Amy Schumer at the Apollo was on a few times on HBO, so I'm hoping the Whitney Cummings will be on again, or maybe it's on tonight. I don't know what time it's on, and again, I, I stayed awake all day, and it wasn't out of fear of her or something happening either. Just, I was 
creating videos and doing shit online and this, that, whatever. And I just never got really, really sleepy until right now. Maybe I'll feed him and we both can just go to sleep. Oh, and by the way, I made a mistake in the other video. I know for a fact she had a cup of coffee prior to 4 a.m. when I woke up. It's beyond certain. I mean, we're talking 99.99999% certain she had another cup of coffee. Because I could hear her talking to a friend. She's like, I'm falling asleep. I know she had another cup of coffee. I heard her say to him, i got to have another cup of coffee. So we're going to say two. We'll err on the conservative side. It might have been more, but we'll just say two. And then she had four at that place. So that's six. And then she had another big cup when she came over here. That's seven cups, not six. She had seven cups of coffee yesterday, at least, maybe more, um, on two and a half hours sleep. And she woke up with a nosebleed, bad nosebleed this morning. I don't know if there's any correlation between what she did yesterday and waking up with a nosebleed. I could have sworn I read somewhere that that on certain meds she's on, the cer certain types of meds she's on, that she shouldn't drink a shitload of coffee. But I could be mistaken. I don't know. I thought I heard that somewhere. But it's a lot of coffee for her to have. She's not used to that either. Sometimes she'll just have, she'll have no coffee, and then she's like a zombie, and I'm like, well, you know, you should at least, even the, the experts say, you know, just keep alert or whatever, you know, you can have like, like three cups a day is okay, but at least have one, but seven, no. She had coffee today, too, but not, not anything abnormal. But she may still be feeling that she did sleep. I don't know if I, I told you guys that she did. I asked her this morning, I said, what time did you... She said, well, after you... Okay, I went to bed at 8. You didn't go to bed when I went to bed. And then she had to clear off her bed. Which, there wasn't that much on the bed. She had thought I took everything. Maybe I, you guys thought that as well. I didn't take all her clothes out of her closet. When I said I took everything out of her closet, because I'm looking for boots. I, I don't need to take the clothes that are hanging up on hangers to look for boots. I mean, that'd be silly, but as I said to her, you know, oh, I didn't know. So it wasn't that big of a deal, but she lost her was leash in the mess. She found it again. Um, she's apparently lost her license. That's what I heard her tell and see. And she hadn't told me, but then she confessed this morning. I didn't ask her. She happened to say, she's like, I'm losing everything. But she'll get mean and belligerent to the point where, like, like you need to find this and that, but I know. I, I mean, you leave, lose stuff constantly. I would never be able to rest. I'd be in, in nervous wreck if I had to, every time you said, every time I turn around, you've lost something. And, and it's better that she finds it on her own because she does find it. You know what I mean? I can't just be at her back and call, especially if I'm trying to sleep. And for all this, she knew I was sleeping today. It just happened to not be sleeping. But then I get up to pee or get water, and then she's ah, you need to do this, and you know, da, da, you know. So but when she's doing things or whatnot that I know she shouldn't, especially calling people early in the morning or late at night, she's famous for that, or 
bugging people whose phone number she might have their phone number but they're not exactly your best friend and you especially don't want to call them at you know not inappropriate hours and, but those are examples I can give you there's other examples I'm not going to give you because I can't you just have to be here and it's all but those examples are good examples because I can tell you numerous times in the past when she's in the midst of breakdowns she calls people any damn time she feels like it early in the morning late at night and there's no way in hell I can stop her okay short of taking away her phone which I'm not going to do I can't you know illegally do that anyway I'm not her guardian I'm not I'm just her daughter who lives here I'm just her roommate but no you don't want to know what she'll do if you say oh it doesn't matter I can call them now they're up okay whatever mom <laughs> whatever and yes she says it just like that gets mean and belligerent when, when she's you know in the midst of a breakdown or possibly approaching a breakdown or you know I don't know what this currently is I don't I'm filled with fucking anxiety and dread and just but I think this will be uh Is that the plow? Plow? Or sand or something? No. Something? No. I don't know. Alright, peeps. <laughs> this will be the last video I'm seeing. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I just wanted to explain that. You know, I know I have in that description because that's how I was feeling. You know, she's acting up and she's like, going to drive me crazy or enrage me or, or you know, because if I'm trying to sleep and she pounds on my door because of whatever, yeah, I'm not going to be too happy about that. And that's all these things I'm mentioning have happened in the past. So, if this is the beginning of another breakdown for her, this just...